plays Yoshi. So I'm curious to see uh, Pisces plays. Yeah, doing the best as he can. Pisces. There's Mako. So Mako plays Yoshi, you said? Yep. You have to see what Pisces pulls out. Ah, we got one of the people coming here from Switch Fest, Pisces, Trainer Main. Oh, a lot of Trainer Mains here. It's nice. I like Trainer's a fun character. No, no, give me the. Uh, damn uh, it. Hey. <laughs> she just took her side. Yeah, you see it right on the. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so moving on to Pokemon Trainer's home stage, Pokemon Stadium 2. You know, she's a character that people have been talking about for a little bit. How he can just use Nair over and over again. He's got these aerial strings, but remember, it's Pokemon Trainer who can strike back, and the blade blades, this is the nerf patch, so I just are a little less stronger, but Charizard definitely got some follow ups with his Nair. Yeah, definitely. I I feel like that patch for that chain for Trainer was more of like a buff than a nerf. Because, like, you saw that Vine Whip, it, it kind of needed to be toned down a little bit, and uh, what's it called? Razor Leaf was only slowed down a little bit, but the trade off was it that Charizard's. A lot better for character, and people are actually starting to recognize and put that respect on it. But uh, right now, we're not even seeing the Charizard. Yeah, Still I, solo Squirtle. And I think it's more of like we have finally got to see. Oh. <laughs> what a fair! Yes, misses the tech there, Pisces. Yeah, I can lose that first stock. Now going over to the Ivysaur. Yeah, I think it's more of a they beat Charizard finally a character. Mm -hmm. uh, and so Ivysaur doing a little bit of work right now. He's able to get those spikes off, trying to get the up tilt to follow up. But Mako taking a stock oh, just like that. And double jump armoring right through the uh, the downer. Did not get the sweet spot. That's just like the hard things that you gotta do. Like, oh, he just oh. armored right through it. But the second time, the charm for sure. Yeah, held onto the ledge a little too long and, you know, just kind of got the, spo uh, the pores. And definitely the switch needed. Uh, Charizard could get easily comboed by Yoshi. Mm -hmm. Here it comes forward. Try to get a grab oh, set. Gets eaten again. Is he gonna lose his stock again? Uh, not this time. 110%. But remember, this is Squirtle. After all, if he eats a strong hit, it's gonna spell disaster for him. Right now, he's doing the best as he can. Nair had a shield once more. Mako trying to go for a hard read, but not able to find anything. I really like that how Pisces uh, was sticking with one Pokemon for a long time. A lot of people who do a lot of switches, but Pisces was just really confident in the Squirtle. He got the damage out, but now we're going over to the Ivysaur. I think he realizes that he's ready to get a kill, so he's going to switch over to the Ivy. A lot more kill power and a lot more uh, presence. And especially, he's got that down, uh, down air spike potential that he's got. He's able to recover a little easier, but Nair out of shield once more crosses up. Back, back air. air. Yeah, I've got to send you flying away. So now we're over on Charizard. Maiko still at 114%. This is going to be a little dangerous. Oh, I'm going to I'm gonna think he's going to try to stay with Charizard to take out this stock because you have that kill power, but you gotta you got to do it right. Yeah, because right now, Pisces taking 80% just like that. The fair finally beats out Mako, but... What happened, bro? I blinked. Yeah, you blinked in all the damage. I remember uh, Yoshi's down here did 20% damage. Yeah, bro, that's a that, yeah, that's a 30% move. Uh-huh. I mean, that's a, it, it, all you can really say is kind of like, yikes. And that that's egg a, is, that's <laughs> a huge a big, egg. Man. Charizard's a thick boy coming in, but you're not going to be able to survive many more hits. You're already at 147. Great back air. Are we going to stay with Charizard for it? Yeah. yeah. You have that percent where you understand that you can't get hit a lot more. Oh. It was a shield break set up. There's nowhere he could have gone. I think he was maybe trying to parry it so the uh, the shield zone will be a little less, but unfortunately let, goes a sh let go a shield a little too early. Uh -huh. Mike didn't take that first game with a JV2, actually. I mean, that's like a problem they have to deal with, and especially with the fact that Yoshi can do so much to control the match. The aerials on him are one of the best of the game. He's able to control it out. And the problem is people say you can just space out Yoshi. Mm -hmm. Squirtle can't space out Yoshi with his tiny little arms, right? Yeah, the most Squirtle can really do is like water gun and just push you away. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, 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 <laughs> that's still really good though. Yeah, it's still an option. We didn't see it, but it just felt like that Pisces just got overwhelmed way too fast. Yeah, I think Pisces was staying on like a singular Pokemon for a little too long. Like I said, uh, what you really want to do with a trainer is you want to find out when to switch and not try to stay on someone too long, especially if something isn't working out. best as he can. 33%. And I'll also, what I've noticed is that Pisces has not gotten those big aerial screens we've been seeing usually from Pokemon trainers. Mm -hmm. We're in, I don't even think we've seen Pisces get many grabs either. I mean, that's what Squirtle needs. He needs to get those grabs into those follow-ups and he needs to do it multiple times to show up what Squirtle's capable of. And Mike my, goes just saying, if you're not going for grabs, I'll just swallow you up yeah. in his egg. Yeah, if you're not going to grab me, I'll do it for you. Then again, good luck grabbing Yoshi. He's always jumping. Yeah, Alright, no jump right now. I like the idea of going for the Vine Whip in case he's stood on the platform of Kalos, but... Oh my god, all these call-outs coming from Mako. It gets down there, but Pisces unable to get a follow-up. 
Maiko realized that last match, Casey's went for a uh, back roll setup when he was in a tight situation, so this time he does read down and call it out. But right now, he's being trapped at the ledge. Maiko doing a really good job once more, but Nair out of shield, gonna catch him out once more. Up gets that back here and gets that double jump into the Vine Whip. Great confirm for Ivy. So we're gonna take that first lead in the set. Already at 149. He's that was so dangerous. I'm so surprised by she didn't try to go off for a backer and get that cheek, that cheeky early stock. Yeah, unable to find anything out from now and here comes the Nair once more. But Maiko, he's got a little bit to work with. 166. Ivy so with rage can do a lot of things. Ivy so with rage can kill him pretty early. Uh-huh. Unable to get anything out and that fair gonna do so much. Yep. But get scooped up with that down B. Switching instantly, and here comes the first grab. Doesn't doesn't get the up air conversion. Yeah, you know it's bad when I have to say first grab and then you <laughs> just get anything off of it. It's really unfortunate, but 63 percent. I mean, yeah, you can't say first grab, but at the same time, he's gotten these stocks and this damage out all without it. So that's even better. You don't have to rely on the grab to for your damage output. Mm -hmm. so she needs to be careful right now. On him to get anything off it. Great parry, but yeah. missed aerial. Yeah, and right now Michael's bringing it back slowly, but a little conversion for Pisces now. Got him in the corner. Grabs. Grabs him. Yeah, I don't have to find anything off of that one. He's going to go egg ahead and roll. Razor lead to cancel out the egg roll. Mako's doing a really good job respecting Ivy Sword's aerials. He's finding his way around them. And oh, that might them. have been some suspect DI. I don't think he should have popped out like that. Suspect DI coming in right now. Mako getting his He's going to go for the jump fair. I think he's looking for an option right now, but has to respect it. Gets the fair once more. Oh, my no gosh. Mako had it. I just, I don't think he realized he had it until he reacted a little too late. Just goes to the back throw immediately, tries to spike him. Uh -oh. I like that Michael went down for it, but Pisces not going to try to punish it. Actually gets a con counter conversion for himself. Gets that egg oh. into the up air. Is he moonwalking on him? He's crawling on him. Oh. <laughs> He's moonwalking on him, bro. Got to wait out the invincibility somehow. Yeah, you're going to go ahead and get something down right now. That bear is going to do so much damage. Michael in a little bit of trouble. Yeah. Remember, 72% on Yoshi. Mm. A downer spike will Good kill. Mm. So right now, Michael slowly starting to bring it back. He's getting this damage in. Double up air, backing it up on him. Comes, all this calm potential. All this to, damage, bro. Yeah, I need to find a way around those eggs, but catches them out on the end lag of one of them. So Pisces needs to be really careful because it doesn't feel too good when you had the advantage, and then this Yoshi comes along and takes back, takes it all back. Mm -hmm. Actually calls him out with the up air right there. We haven't seen that much on these platforms. Ivysaurs like to do that a lot for pressure. Goes to the raised leaf up beat, but not going to hit. And fair catch him one turn. Michael needs to really do. Oh, gobbles him up. He's going to go for this fair again. Doesn't get it, Spike. but Spike. Good tech. Great no. tech, but no follow-up. Unfortunate. That that was like the lowest tech jump I've ever seen. Like a lot of tech jumps jump up. He just kind of hit it and went down. Yeah, I, I, Michael was just probably like, oh, I got it, and then you just see Yoshi like slowly like fluttering his. I was like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> I was definitely popping off with the tech jump, but not gonna be enough. So we're gonna be going to a game three. Let's see where Michael's gonna go. PS2. Yeah, good stage for both characters. You get a lot of room for uh, the trainer to do all of his conversion, but at the same time, Yoshi, he has that air speed. He's able to just go around and cover all that space so easily. And you have the big blast zones for Yoshi to uh, survive a little longer. Mm -hmm. Doing the best as he can. Gonna go ahead and go Yoshi one more time. Got some cheers going on for the crowd back yeah. here. And we're starting on this game three. Right now, Pisces has got, he's got to feel himself right now. Great job taking that shot, and although it almost got out of control, he's able to take it back just in time. Mm -hmm. Even though the tech did come in, and here comes the grab-up setups, but. Oh, I think he wanted to fast fall and go for a couple more up but just messed it up. Maybe some nerves coming in. I mean, definitely, you're feeling a lot of pressure, especially against Michael. What are these? Know. Bro, these trades are not looking good for Pisces right now. Michael, understanding if he just keeps doing it, it'll work. It'll, these it'll yeah, these fairs coming in, head bopping. Yeah, it'll work eventually, right? Just keep doing it over and over again. And that up there, that stubby little tail is beating out Pisces, and he goes for the Yoshi bomb. Oh, that cool? I, yeah, I think that was some bad DI. You already saw uh, Pisces going for that Nair going inward, so it might have been uh, some suspe suspected DI. Goes for the up B, not going to kill just yet. Like we said, those nerfs might have been something. Yeah, those nerfs coming into play right now. And I think one thing I'd like to see from the previous game, I know he Pisces didn't want it. No Charizard whatsoever. Mm. So that could potentially be something at yeah. 89%. Yeah, but at, at this early percent of like 80 to like 120, it'd be better to go for the Ivysaur just because you don't have to rely on being a big body to get comboed. And all of your uh, moves kill. Once you get to like that 140 range, I think is a good time to go for Charizard. When you can get that up though, that up smash or just those grabs. 
but unable to find anything out. His arrows are actually being beaten out by Goat. Finally gets that up air, taking that first stock, 88%, but we all know what I still can do with the grab. Yeah, Michael got a little too greedy there with his arrows. He went for another aerial trade, but high seas. Remember, his down air is still a pretty big hitbox. He gets hit up with the egg. Does he have a jump? <gasps> oh, didn't realize he used his other up B. Oh, no. That's not looking too good right now. I probably see he's back on the portal. He's got to get a really good neutral exchange right now. Maybe switch to Ivysaur and get an early stock. But Michael, he's not oh. a player. Michael, you right away. Michael's backing it up on him right now. 59% already. Yeah, and he knew that he was going to roll back once more. Pisces has been going that. That's his panic option. That's a lot of people like to say. Four stop stage once more. 72%. Oh, goodness, Michael. Pi yeah, Pisces, this is not looking good. You see him just kind of trying to go get these conversions really quick. Not really trying to play in the neutral like we were seeing earlier. It looks like Michael's gotten in his head a little bit. Yeah, Michael's he's smelling blood in the water right now. He knows that he's a stock up. But look at the way he's playing. Michael's feeling himself right now. He's taking 16%. Goes to the up B. A little early percent. That's usually oh. want to see uh, the full hop nares. Yeah, but that's the bullet seed trying to come into something right now. But Pisces gets B reversed. Getting eaten up right now. 122%. This Michael. is this is hard. You're really gonna need this conversion right now. You're gonna go for the dare, yeah. Yeah, but he had to go for all for nothing. Uh, I don't know about that one. Looks like a lot of spaghetti coming in from Pisces there. You can't say it's so DI because you can't. But we DI'd off the platform. Even Pisces laughing off. Micro gonna take that one in a game three.